Chloe stands at 5'4", while James, who suffers from a rare form of dwarfism, is only 3'7". Uh, but, realising the attraction, that they, they soon fell in love. And now <laughs> the couple of even more reasons to be cheerful, having welcomed their daughter, Olivia, in Olivia! 2019. Yeah. And more recently set in a brand-new Guinness World Record for the greatest height difference between a married couple. Yes, and they all join us now. I've got a feeling she's just going to be about Olivia, so let's... <laughs> Olivia! <laughs> So, uh, James, let's start with you. Uh, firstly, just I just want to sort of clarify, so no one's offended. Is dwarfism the right term? It is, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I have a rare form of dwarf dwarfism which is called diastrophic dysplasia. There's over two hundred types of dwarfisms, and because I have a dwarfism, therefore I'm a dwarf. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And uh, so, ex explain that condition for us. The, the... Yeah, sure. So, diastrophic dysplasia, like I say, is a rare form, and I have, was born with hitchhiker thumbs and club feet, and uh, I have uh, sort of car. Uh -huh. um, problems with my knees and my joints. Yeah. So that's it. And is that a your parents carry? Is that right? Yeah, so my, my mum and dad are, are, are average height. Um, and when, when I was born and my brother was born, it was one in a million chance, one in a million chance for my dad. So it's quite, yeah, it's, it's a very rare. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Olivia, so let's, let's talk about your love story. <laughs> let's, James, how did you actually meet oh, yeah. Chloe? So, um, the day I carried the Olympic torch um, back in 2012 was an amazing day. Um, I'd already met Chloe before that day, but she was in the crowd with some friends of her friends and we had a bit of a thing at our house after and she came along with that friend and she caught my eye. Um, and, uh, was it instant? Um, it wasn't instant, um, but it, it took a little while before we, we ended up uh, dating, if you like. And, uh, yeah, and the rest is history, isn't it? Mm -hmm. But, Chloe, you was a little bit apprehensive, weren't you? Yeah, I think um, because he wasn't my usual type, um, you have that little bit of fear. I guess everyone has a little bit of fear of, you know, what's everyone going to think kind of thing. It's just a natural instinct. Um, it's so sad that we live our lives like that, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Just, yeah. I'm just childcaring over here. You <laughs> it's so sad that we live our lives like that because I, I have loads of girlfriends who are, like, so obsessed with height of their man. Yeah. Mm. It's bizarre. Mm. Yeah. yeah. But as yeah. soon as you meet Jay... You forget about the height. It just goes from your memory and you just focus on him as a person and that's what you fall in love with. Lucy Davis and Dave Campbell, who are proof that height doesn't matter. Dave is five foot four, Lucy is five foot nine. They're getting married in April. Good morning to you guys. Good morning. Uh, so, look, uh, when you first met uh, Dave, Lucy, were you put off by the fact of his height? Was it what was it that first attracted you to him? Big confidence. Confidence. Yes. Do you think that's key, Dave? It's not worrying yeah. about the physical side of the and just having a strong personality. Yeah, definitely. Has it ever definitely. been an issue, the height between the two of you? Not between ourselves, but only when I wear flats. <laughs> <laughs> do you tend to do that more often? Not really. You don't mind. Probably so you, wear heels more now. You embrace that and you quite like it, do you? I prefer it. You prefer, I prefer it. the heels. It's like I'm a supermodel. Oh, <laughs> he makes you feel like a supermodel, which is yes, no bad does. thing, is it, when it comes to a relationship? What about other people's reaction, though? What about what's the reaction, say, from from people either your mates or or people that you, you do see? get some people have some funny things to say or bit of banter. Doesn't matter. But you can deal with that. You can yep. both deal with that. Yeah. Uh, come the wedding day, um, <laughs> or, uh, are you, is it going to be high heels or is it going to be uh, sort of a, a more flat shoe? Oh, high heels all the way. Definitely high heels. Yeah, so Dave's in high heels you. too. <laughs> No, not me. <laughs> <laughs> From experience, you probably want to take a pair of flats for dancing later, and then you've got all options. All options come. Well, no, you, you're obviously a great couple, so much in love. But Zizi here, you you would look at that and think that's not for me. I mean, it works for Ashley. It just doesn't. It wouldn't work for me. That's that's Ashley Short King, not my. I can't. I just there's just something about the height difference of a taller man. How it makes you feel protected. How it makes you feel. It just makes me feel like a woman. But being protected from what? Because there's no saber-toothed tigers anymore. I get it, like, back in the caveman days, but these days we have our... Like, we don't need protection from a man. I think it goes from back protection to... From the protection from things that are going on. I just feel like when you walk down the road with a taller man, other men respect them more than maybe a shorter man. That's, that's, my, that's the reality of Is it. Is there something primal there, actually, that people can't put into words that maybe comes from the days of saber-toothed tigers, if I, human beings were around for saber-toothed tigers, but you know what I mean? I definitely think it goes back to, like, traditional ideas of what feminine is and what 
masculine is. Mm. And also we see it in culture, as Jamila Jamil said, like, it's very rare, or I don't think we've seen at all in rom-coms and romantic movies, having, like, a taller woman with a short guy. So I think it comes down to a lot of, like, unrealistic beauty expectations. Like, as a woman, you don't want to feel bigger in any sense of the word, so feeling small next to a bigger guy. I don't but think I it's... think as we learn to try and break down unrealistic beauty standards for women, we should also be doing that for men, because at the end of the day, if you're shorter, what can you do about it? You can't just grow taller. So. I, I think that... Well, I think the average height of women in the UK is actually 5'3". So, I it's mean... 5'3"? Yeah, it's, I mean, it's not... It's quite short. Yeah. So, a man, there's a lot... I mean, if you're... Do you know what, what's, what's the average height for a man? 5'9". 5'9". So, nine. it's like... it's. So, in, in the a way, scheme it's of things, the norm in it, terms of the average. Yeah. Actually, I mean, you are tall. Aren't you? How tall are you? Well, I'm 5'7", so... OK, that's all-ish. relatively tall. No supermodel, but... <laughs> and have all-ish. you... I'm very small, I'm only about five foot two, so it's never really cropped up for me. I'm always just grateful for any kind of attention at all from whatever <laughs> I... But for you, presumably, you've been gone on a date, maybe someone you've seen, you know, on a dating site, so you haven't got an idea of height, and you're presented with someone, does it not even for a second flicker through your mind that that might be weird or different? Not or... at all, and do you know what? I was single for six years, and in that time, it's so hard anyway to find someone that you're compatible with in terms of, like, meeting someone that you're, like, socially, mm. economically, intellectually, sexually attracted to, that I think the more kind of pointless um, flags that you put up, the less like you are to meet uh, someone compatible made... and who can make you really happy. The, the point that Lucy made over there, though, is easy with Dave. One of the things that she fir- was mm. first attracted to Dave was his personality and his confidence. Yeah. I mean, the, undoubtedly, confidence is an incredibly attractive uh, characteristic. Have you never met a guy that's come in, uh, come and met you that has bowled you over this confidence that perhaps wasn't as tall as your standard guy that you're looking for? I mean, it has happened, but it's always just better on a six foot one guy. I mean, you can have all these really good attributes, like really nice, caring, but imagine that on a six foot so one. So I'm not, I'm not tall enough for you. I mean, how tall are you? Five, ten and a half. I mean, uh... I'm above average. I've just heard this is great news. I've never I... been above average at anything. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, with heels on, I want to be able to look up. I want to fit. It's, it is a little bit fairy tale, but I compromise on so many things. That's hard. I feel, I, like, I feel like you're trying to land a no very, very gently there. <laughs> I, I, no, sorry. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, look, you yeah. had a win about being above average. You well, can't look, have it for, all. Fortunately, I mean, Ashley's into personality, so. Yeah, no, does that I, work? I, I also read that if you're dating a guy who's shorter than you, he's less bothered about gender stereotypes, so he's likely to be more supportive ah. in other areas of your life. So if you get a promotion or, you know, all the things that defy gender stereotypes. That's probably so. because he's really happy about dating a, a taller woman. But tall doesn't <laughs> equal what, beauty or, like, kindness or niceness. No, and I think we should be so. looking at other values. And when you hit the nail on the head, both of you, about confidence, I wonder if, if we're maybe contributing to smaller men not feeling confidence okay, by but... making it a standard. Yeah, but that... that's life. Men have preferences as well. Mm. Like, within my culture, men prefer women that are a lot thicker. I'm not a thick woman. I don't have, like, a, a nice big round bottom. Like, do you know what I mean? So I have to deal with that. That's just life. Some people are not going to like you for how you are and you just have to move on with it. We can't always just be like, oh, we have to make sure... It's life. You're it's short, life. you're short, you're tall, you're tall. Some people yeah. are going to like you, some people are not. I think 